Well, isn't that a beauty? Especially if it saves your life. And it could be if this is your concealed carry gun. Today in Survival Guns, we're going to be looking at the Springfield Armory XDS. Uh, the XDS is a 45 ACP um, subcompact semi-automatic handgun and ideally built for um, concealed carry. Could do other duties as well, home defense and self-defense in general. And here are the, um, the big bullets, big cartridges. It's 45 ACP in a small package. Probably one of the smallest uh, 45s ever made. Um, probably around the same size as uh, the AMT 45 backup. And you can see my review of that gun. It's around the uh, around the same size. It's got a 3.3 inch barrel. But we're going to go over the features right now and um, of the Springfield XDS. The magazines hold five rounds, so the gun is a five plus one. And there is also a seven round magazine available. It doesn't come with the gun. The gun comes with two five round magazines. And the, um, the extended comes, uh, this is flush. The extended one comes to about here and would have a extension black polymer to fill in the gap. And it would be a seven round magazine. So seven plus one. And in this setup right here, we've got um, five plus one. So there's the six rounds and the extra magazine. So with this setup here, as it comes in the box, you're ready for 11 rounds of 45 ACP. And this is a small uh, magazine. You just you could just throw this in a uh, in one of your pockets. I got some full metal jacket, PMC ammo right here. And inside the magazine are some critical duty 185 grain. What a great round. Less recoil as well because of the lighter bullet. Yeah, this long-awaited gun, I mean, it's still in short supply in some places. It's already been cleared. We're going to look at that. There it is. Very difficult to release the slide. Might as well mention that right now. You can't push this. I'm pushing that hard as I can. Ugh! It's not releasing. Stiff out of the box. I haven't owned it that very long, and not many rounds have been put through it. I hear that it uh, loosens up, but for now, you've got to remove the magazine. Pull back in the slide. It's probably the easiest way to do that when it's new. I'm going to go over the features. Let's get uh, some of these out of the way. Uh, and before I forget, I always tend to forget um, to go over what comes in the box. You get that really uh, rugged XDM type box. And in the box comes actually a rather useful holster unlike a lot of guns that come with free holsters this one is uh, very Phobos like it is made in Israel maybe it's made by Phobos I don't know but it um, works like a Phobos and it um, has an adjustment here this is the only holster I have and it actually works great excellent holster especially since it's free it comes with two back straps the larger one comes on the gun and the smaller one is here, and they're marked inside with numbers. This one is number one. That one's number two. So you got two different sizes. This one's thinner. I usually like the smaller back straps and guns. Uh, in this case, I actually like the bigger one because when I'm holding it, it actually fills in the gap in my palm right here. I notice with the small one on, it's more of a squarish, and there's an empty spot, and it doesn't absorb the recoil as well. So I actually like the bigger one. Surprise there. It also comes with a uh, dual magazine pouch. It's not really a pouch, it's more of a polymer belt slide holder. Rather smallish. And here's the um, accessory rails on each side of the mag pouch. So I guess you could side saddle a light or something on there. I don't know if that, anybody actually does that, but there it is. I'll show you how that works in a minute. And uh, it also comes with replacement fiber optic tubes. You cut them to size and insert them into the front sight, which is a red fiber optic. Comes standard. Two dots in the rear. All right, so we'll go uh, top to bottom and go over the features of the uh, XD45, XDS45. It says 3.3 .3 in the slide. And 
focused a little bit better there. 3.3 inch barrel. It says XDS, Springfield Armory. It's the serial number is on the slide. Serial number is on the barrel. Serial number is here on the frame. The subframe actually, it's a metal insert into the polymer frame. Alright, so this uh, its uh, use is for concealed carry mostly, but you could do other duties as well as mentioned. And starting from the top down, we've got some really nice sights. Novak style, uh, two dot white in the rear, red in the front can be changeable for the uh, green. The front sight uh, is very visible as you can see in the light. Here's the sight picture. The only issue I have with the front sight is a lot of uh, trainers are seeing them cracked and broken because if something hits right on top, the thing's going to shatter. I guess you could still look through it and use the front sight in that emergency. Uh, the other problem is, is this area right here is really, really sharp all along the front, you know, right along the front edge there, really sharp. So it's going to snag on some other holsters. You can get caught up and that could delay the presentation and a life-threatening event. So in my mind, um, I would change that out as soon as possible, like I'm going to do. Um, I'd hate to touch it up and knock those corners off because um, it's going to really mar it up pretty good. And I like night sights anyway, so I'm going to be replacing these with uh, Trigicon or Mepra lights or something. And have my uh, three dot sights. And those are going to be all green night sights or possibly uh, yellow or orange in the back and a bright green in the front. And Trigicon now has high visibility uh, high def so called ones, I believe they're called. Alright, so this is the stainless steel sli slide. They're, the other versions are the um, blackened slide, which is uh, carbon steel with uh, melanite coating, as they call it. They're proprietary. This one happens to be the stainless steel. The slide serrations are sharp, but not overly so, so very easy to grab onto. The saddle method or the three finger method here. And it, so it's really nice, but it doesn't tend to grab the clothing. There's a cham chamber indicator across the top. And there's the uh, logo for Springfield Armory with the cross cannons and the flame. Regular dovetails in the front and back. Compat these are compatible with other XD sites and SIG sites. So if you're going to order sites, uh, any night sites for SIGs, the P series, SIGs, uh, or the XD or XDS will all fit, which is really nice. Not many controls on here, and that makes it very thin. Uh, all there is is the slide lock and the disassembly latch on top. The mag release, which is ambidextrous and checkered. Very stiff, though. I'm pushing really hard. That's really stiff. I hear it loosens up after time. We'll see. Some mix these tend to be that way. And it's a function often of how strong the spring is. And this spring is incredibly strong unbelievable I've heard it uh, I've heard it described this strong um, others has mentioned that as well in magazine articles and such and that's because the slide velocity on this small slide is probably gonna be very rapid so fast that this spring has to be strong enough to push the next round up before the slide comes back during cycling it makes it very reliable and this gun is reliable in all reports it's reliable one of my friends was having uh, problems with failure to feed in the beginning I just think a lot of the gunk wasn't taken off that's pres the preservative from the factory and um, in that, and also for a break-in these are just very mild break-ins one box of ammo I think you're good to go for any kind of a failure to go into battery work, it's just not enough oomph to get that little bit and you just push it and it's going to go. Uh, but those uh, go away right away. Mine has been flawless, all sorts of ammo. Very easy to seat the magazine. Very thin pistol. Less than one inch. The slide is 0.9. It's called one inch and that's because the controls the widest point, just these little tiny areas bring it to an inch, but it's really less than an inch by far in many places, one of the thinnest automatics you can get. Just great for concealed carry. A fantastic, fantastic pistol in that respect. Nothing but uh, really happy with the pistol. All right, continuing on with the features. Uh, so that's the slide lock. The slide lock has a, a bump along it so this way you're not riding it or, or hitting it by accident so it locks back when you're not ready 
it's got a really small and, and um, there's no sharp edges on this um, disassembly latch. The trigger guard is rather small so for big gloved hands there's not a lot of room in there but it is adequate by far. I've seen smaller. Your finger doesn't drag when you do double when you're uh, pulling the trigger back. It doesn't scrape along it at all so that's nice. The ambidextrous mag release is positioned very well. There is a groove here for your thumb to rest on on either side. Gives you more room. Very aggressive checkering. Not quite like XDM in, in design, but in function more like the XDM than the regular XD. So very good on that. It's got an accessory rail, not a Picatinny, but there's just one groove there. And I'll put a light on it in a minute and we'll show how that works. And it works very well. <clears throat> Just a beautifully made, the fit and finish and the polymer uh, strength uh, of this gun, this is a rugged little gun. It's just amazing. You can tell when you're, when you're holding it. There's no chamber indicator, unlike the XDM and XD. Why is that? Well, there's a simple answer for that. And the answer is, is because the operating system is not like the XD or XDM. It's more like a Glock. The XD and XDM are actually single action pistols. It's got a fully cocked striker. When you rack the slide on an XD or XDM, or when you fire the gun, it's a fully cocked striker, you know, waiting to, uh, to be fired. So when you pull the trigger, it's a very soft, described as mushy, and then a nice clean sear break, and that's why the triggers are so nice in the XDs and the XDMs. And that's because all it does is release the striker. It's not cocking any hammers or strikers or anything. Um, on this gun, it's more like a Glock. So it's got a preloaded striker. In my mind, makes it safer. There's no way it can go off. But when you pull the trigger on this, it's a totally different feel. And you can tell just by the sound of it, it sounds different than the XD or XDMs. It's really nice short reset, really audible reset, and you're ready to go again. So this gun could be actually fired very fast. Bang, 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 click, bang, if you ride the reset. It's got a um, safety, grip safety, so it's not going to go off unless you've got a full grip on the gun. It doesn't lock the slide like on the, the grip safety actually locks the slide on the XDXDM. It, it doesn't on the XDS. As you can see, I can pull the slide back without touching the... Don't ever do that in real life. Put your finger, but it's already cleared. That's the only way I can pull on that to show that function but that the grip safety you can't even tell it's there and it works very well it never holds it up um, it, there's also a safety on the trigger so unless your fingers in the trigger or something pulls on the trigger it's not going to pull back because it's got a release on the center just like a glock very glock like in that respect so the checkering is very aggressive here in the back very comfortable to hold the grip is because it's a 45 very wide this way but very thin this way so it feels a little blocky it's very um, similar in feel to the PPS that Walter makes Walter makes a slim uh, one as well a uh, gun as well and um, this feels a lot like that it's Mark Springfield Army on the bottom of the magazine okay now I'm gonna do field st stripping and I'll take this apart Make sure it's clear. Also, they did some safety features in here where the disassembly latch won't turn if the magazine is in the gun. They want to make sure that the mag's out and the gun has been cleared because you do have to lock it back in order to disassemble it. So once you do that and the mag's out, there's no rounds in it. Then you can push this up. It takes a little bit of force. Pull back on the slide and release after you pull the trigger and it will come right off. You have to pull the trigger for disassembly, and that's probably why they had those added features in there, safety features. This is a polymer frame. It's really small. I thought it would be lighter, but there's a lot of steel in there. And here you can see the spring mechanism, the trigger bar, the disassembly latch. Very well made. Here's the dual captive spring. So when you pull back on this towards you, it doesn't fly out. It's a captive spring. It's dual because they need to have a lot of power for that 45. The barrel's 3.3 inches, comes right out the top. You can tell it's very well made. And there's the st all stainless steel slide, milled from bar stock. 
If you look at the striker assembly, it looks very similar to a Glock. Right here, I'm pointing to the striker block. Unless the trigger is pulled all the way to the rear and this is pushed down, then the striker can't hit and detonate around. Nice safety feature. All right, let's put this back together. Very easy, just drop it in. Push this into the guide rod section of the slide. Just like that. Slide the frame back on. Pull it back. And then lock it back to the rear again. Push that down. Pull back. That's it. You're all, you're all ready to go. Okay, the magazines um, hold five rounds. You can find those. They're not that expensive. $25. The seven round mags are around 35 if you go to CNN or one of the online sites, they're not that expensive, which is really good news. Unlike uh, Walter Sigs, we're going to pay 50, 60, and, and um, H and K's, very reasonably priced to get extra mags. <clears throat> Even though it comes with two, you can buy the, uh, the seven rounder. <clears throat> okay, um, another really cool accessory is I found in my supply with my other XDs, an XD marked XML. A light from Insight and now isn't that cute if a gun could be called cute a little light for a little gun isn't that awesome 1.6 ounces you could throw that you know right in your uh, pocket you have your you need to use the gun in a dark place boom you got the night sights and now and then if you add night sights and then you got the light right on there and without taking my hand off the trigger you just put the light on momentary or all the way on that's awesome love that so that's the insight light. Trigger finger, boom. Or if you got two hands, you can just come down, operate it on and off, just like that. Turn it on, put your finger back on. You're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Not full auto. All right. So that's that light. And let's go over to pros and cons. I'm trying to keep this under uh, 20 minutes. My reviews. I'm getting a little bit long. So the pros are it's very ergonomic, very uh, aggressive checkering, so it's not going to slip. Very controllable. Uh, the shooting impressions are the recoil isn't as bad as I thought it would be for a uh, you know for a 21 ounce gun. It's uh, 21 ounces by the way, 21.6 uh, with an empty mag. It's about 25 and a half ounces loaded, and around 28.3 ounces with with uh, just set up like that, six rounds and then the holster. So that's the the weight of it. Um, the pros are it's very ergonomic. It's a small, it's a lightweight, it's thin, reliable, it's a 45, big bore, you can't go wrong there. It's very pointable, and in this version, you got stainless steel corrosion resistance as well, better than the blue and the melanite. All right, so the cons are, you know, the recoil, even though it's not bad, it's still a 45, still going to kick you, hard to get back on target, little, little practice will be better, but it's not like a 9. Maybe like a 40. Maybe a little less than a 40. Some 40s are really kick hard. Um, the front sight, you know, as I mentioned, is sharp. Maybe a little bit fragile on the fiber optic. The frame is kind of squarish. You know, it's got a squarish frame. It's not a roundish kind of frame that fits hands better. Um, even though I've got a good grip, the pinky goes under here. If you don't like that, put the seven round mag in. But it still is kind of square. The, the slide lock was stiff, as I showed you. The magazines, the magazines are out of the box are pretty stiff, and if you've got a loaded magazine in here, you're not able to push the button on my example. You have to push up in the mag to take that out with a full mag in place. You want to take the full mag out. And then the recoil spring, I mean, you, you do have to have some strength in your fingers and upper body to pull this all the way back. That's a pretty stiff spring. You know, if you've got strong hands and stuff, it's no problem. But it's almost like a blowback 380 where you're going to have a stiff spring. All right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up, and uh, that's my review of the Springfield Armory XDS. Um, overall, I give it a thumbs up for concealability, reliability on a big bore, really small, really thin, 45 carry gun. All right, thanks for watching Survival Guns, and I'll see you next time.